Good morning, Mike. How are you? I'm doing great. I am a talking hairdo now. I know. How's it feel? Oh, it's great. You know, you go into Safeway, and every now and then someone says, <laughs> uh, I know you. That's kind of a cool thing, you know? Do you ever get backlash? <laughs> oh, yeah. I do. In fact, I, I've, I've found that I get more backlash uh, when I have reports on TV than I do on when I was writing in the newspaper. I don't know why that is, but both from, uh, you know, the viewers and from occasionally a player. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, give me if an I idea. If I make a predict. Well, uh, for instance, uh, the 11 and uh, my prediction in the beginning of the season was 11 and 5, 1 and done. And Ryan Harris and C.J. Anderson let me know about that one and done, mm-hmm. uh, which was which was based uh, back then was based on the fact that Gary Kubiak was bringing in his system that I didn't think worked very well with Peyton Manning and Peyton Manning's you know record in the playoffs. I just figured it all added up, but maybe this marriage that everyone said wouldn't work is actually the. Uh, the magic concoction for both of them. We'll if, see on Sunday. But if I told you two months ago it'd be Peyton versus Brady to go to the Super Bowl, you would have said? I would have said uh, Broncos will take it. And uh, not not all that not all that surprising. I mean, it's, uh, you know, these guys, as uh, someone who's covered the beat, I'm kind of, you get a little tired or, not, I don't know if tired's the right word, but you're always thinking of new ways to write Brady, Manning, Manning, Brady. Uh, this is number 17. I think I came in roughly at about uh, 9 or 10 on the beat, maybe 8 or 9. And, uh, you know, the, the, the whole thing about this one, I guess, is it's probably the last time. But what about the talk? Like, Is this normal for the Broncos to be saying this much during the week <laughs> about the, the Patriots and Brady and Crybaby and go after Gronk's knees? Yeah. And, is this typical? No. No, it's not. It's the first time all year. I think what happened was Gary Kubiak didn't have a meeting on Monday. You know, generally speaking, they they don't. They come in for a flush, as they call it. You know, they run out their soreness from the game on Sunday, which they had against the Pittsburgh Steelers. And he didn't have a chance to have a team meeting to warn the guys about what to say, what not to say. And so most of those comments... I believe were Monday and Tuesday. And then yesterday they had the team meeting and you might've noticed that for the most part, they, they went a different direction with their comments. So I think that's probably what happened. And, you know, I do think the Broncos, some of the players do genuinely dislike the Patriots for reasons that many people do, which is that they're real good and they're the team to beat. I mean, I think the hatred toward the Patriots does start with the fact, you know, that of their dynasty. I mean, no one bothers to hate the Tennessee Titans or the Jacksonville Jaguars. Uh, it starts there, and then Bill Belichick and and Tom Brady. Uh, you do see Tom Brady, you know, complaining to the officials constantly. At least I do. And uh, now the Gronk hitting below the knees that was unfortunate, although maybe true. Uh, you know, it's how do you tackle a guy like that? You if you get him up high. You're riding them for a while, and you're game tackling them. Uh, I think with the NFL rules, uh, you know they encourage hitting below the belt anyway. Um, I think Chris, I, I do think Chris Harris was asked how you tackle them, and he said low, you know, around the knees, which is which is truthful. You don't always want to say the truth, but I think that was the truth. How concerned should Bronco fans and the Bronco players be about Peyton Manning on Sunday? Well, there, you know, that's been an ongoing topic all year, and right now, uh, there's, I think, there's less concern because uh, he has proven to be good enough here the last game and a half to to win two games. You know, Peyton, even when he was struggling earlier this year, in the first seven games, I think he threw, he did throw a pick in all seven. He had seven touchdown passes and eleven interceptions. Yet the team was seven and zero during that stretch. Peyton had a way because of the defense. You know, this is, I think he would agree, this is the best defense he's ever played with. Mm -hmm. And they've been keeping him in there. And then Peyton has figured out how to get the game winning drive, the game tying field goal. Uh, He's come through in the fourth quarter every single time uh, in those victories. 
Uh, he did lose to the Kansas City game was, you know, the, the worst game of his career. Uh, that's when they decided to sit him down because of the injuries. He had two injuries, actually, a rib cage and the foot. And, and he was 39. And <laughs> that added up to 0. 0.0 passer rating against Kansas City. But they shut him down, and that turned out to be the right move. He, uh, I don't think he's had any treatment now in about three weeks. So he's ready to go. I, you know, whether he's as good as Tom Brady, probably not. But then again, Peyton Manning doesn't have to go against the number one defense. They, they have to go against a good defense, a real good defense. But the hope is the Broncos defense is better against Brady than the Patriot defense is against Manning. The chance right now that Peyton Manning is playing his last games his last game in Denver. Yeah. It's over? Well, yeah, that's uh, – I, I in Denver, I, it is. His last game, he's got either one or two games left in Denver. And uh, now whether he plays uh, one more year with another team, I, I don't know. I, I know he hasn't made up his mind on that. I know it's going to be difficult for him to actually retire. Um, I guess I would put a quarter on him retiring, but, uh, you know – that's my guess. That's not from anything I know. That's up to him. But in Denver, it's uh, well certain that he's playing his last games because Brock Osweiler's a free agent, as it turns out, and the Broncos need to re-sign him. And, the you know, Brock Osweiler's not coming back if Peyton Manning comes back. What if Manning and, wins and, the Super Bowl, though, Mike? Does he go out like Elway? Or does he say, why not come back? Well... Um, if he wins the Super Bowl, I still think the Broncos find a way to gently, as <laughs> gently as you can, and it probably won't be all that clean, uh, still move on from him and go with Brock Osweiler going forward. Uh, as far as Peyton Manning, if he wins the Super Bowl and comes back, yes, I think there is a possibility that he goes ahead and uh, sells his wares to the uh, – to the appropriate bidder again. I, I would think if he went out on the free agent market after this year that there would be more teams than you think that would want to take a chance on him for a year or two. Have fun this weekend, Mike. I appreciate that, Dan. Good luck.